those of you who went through the class on the Eucharist over the last uh, few months will know that uh, when we got to the Bread of Life piece, uh, the Bread of Life discourse, um, that this discourse is broken up into two parts. The first part, when he's talking about, I am the Bread of Life, he's not actually directly talking about the Eucharist, he's talking about faith. In the latter part, that's when he starts talking about the Eucharist. And we see that transition in tomorrow's Gospel. So, this Gospel today, he's talking primarily about saying, do you have faith? Do you believe in me? And he says, you know, I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. This is a big transition from that to the end of the Gospel when we see uh, Thomas coming and putting his finger into the nail marks and his hand into the side of Jesus. And he says, Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Thomas saw and he believed because he saw. These people see, but they don't believe. And Jesus is saying, Blessed are they who do not see, who have not seen, and yet believe. And so this is the invitation for us today, is to believe even without seeing. And this whole word belief, this whole, whole word faith, follow my logic here as best you can, because this is, this is where I was led in prayer. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like uh, where I go is a runaway train. It starts off on one place, and how did it get onto that track and that other track? But, you know, so th this is where I'm at anyway. So share with me this in my little, my little trip down uh, the spiritual life. And that is, uh, when, when we look at the word faith and belief, a lot of that is very much connected with trust. That to believe in Jesus is not just an intellectual assent, that we say, okay, I, I truly believe that you are the second person of the eternal trinity, the eternal logos, etc., etc. We could say all sorts of words, and we could say that we believe them, but the question is, how do we live them? We live that out by trust. We live out our faith. Our faith looks like something in the way we trust Him. And I think about the surrender novena. The, oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. And this is, this is going through my mind a lot today just because I have some, some things that are weighing down on me and I have to keep saying, okay, Jesus, I trust in you. We can very much be afraid of the unknown, the future, not knowing what's going to happen. And Jesus is saying, do you not trust that I've got this? Do you not trust that you're in my hands? This past weekend, uh, we had a retreat for a St. Gianna's Place board, um, which I, uh, I usually we have another speaker come in and, and do the talk. He wasn't able to be there. And, I saw him yesterday at an event and he said, well, I was going to talk about, um, uh, uh, what do you say, something about renunciation or, or, or all that stuff. And I said, I talked about trust. <laughs> but uh, if you, any of you have read the book, He Leadeth Me by Walter Kissick, um, powerful, powerful book, powerful book. And I, I primarily was talking about that where here he is. He was trusting in himself when he was in solitary confinement in uh, Russia and he was broken down because he was focused on himself he thought he could do everything by his pride by his own power even though he prayed even though he, he kept saying he was surrendering to the providence of Almighty God really he was doing it himself and then after he fell apart he learned what it means what it meant really to surrender into the providence of God. So that eventually when he was uh, told to sign these papers saying what was going to happen with his life under the communists, he said no, and they were ready to kill him. And he's just like, great, bring me to the Lord. Um, and I look and I see so often I don't truly trust that God is going to be there in that unknown future. That I look and I say, how am I ever going to be able to deal with this? Am I going to make the right decision? And that fear of making the wrong decision comes up and stirs up and creates chaos in my life. 
And the Lord says, I have every contingency covered. Every contingency covered. Just surrender into my hands. Surrender into my hands. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. As Jesus talks today about believing in him, may we truly surrender ourselves into his hands, truly believing, truly trusting that he will be there for every contingency that may happen, for every part of the unknown future, to take care of every fear that we have.